Hey, good evening. Kirk McDowell here, coach, uh, with um, the challenge call. And um, I'm doing this live Facebook t tonight um, for um, a workshop that I'll be a part of uh, Saturday in two days on the 20th in South Austin. <laughs> and the, excuse me, the topic of the, the uh, workshop is creativity. And um, um, I'll be speaking for 45 minutes. There'll be four other speakers. Uh, they're all amazing. Um, and um, the creativity that um, I'm talking about tonight is distinct from sort of the everyday use of the word creativity in, 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 in the following manner, is I'm not speaking of creativity in a sort of artistic sense necessarily. Nothing wrong with that. Um, I'm, I'm a musician, I consider myself an artist. But that's not the creativity I'm talking about today. The creativity that I'm talking about today is creativity at the level of, you know, what are you creating for your life? You know, like, what are you bringing that's new and different to your life? What are you bringing to your life that's not automatic and the way that it was yesterday and yesterday before that and the yesterday before that and years of yesterdays, you know? And so, you know, people create really beautiful things. Um, um, people create businesses, people create purpose for their, for their life, people create relationships, marriages, families, friendships, uh, all sorts of beautiful things. Um, and what I want to talk about today is actually integrity <laughs> as a critical aspect of creativity. Uh, so integrity as a critical aspect of creativity. Oh goodness! So uh, integrity. Uh, ha you know, I ha I've had a love-hate relationship with this distinction for quite some time, um, and I typically don't think of integrity and creativity at the same time, or in the same breath, or in the same conversation, or in the same Facebook live feed. But uh, but today that's what we're doing, and uh, so. I've done a series of, of live streams over the last couple of weeks, and, and I don't, I'm not going to try to repeat everything that I've created, but essentially kind of where we're at is there's a real palpable, accessible possibility for you called you don't have to be the person you've always been. You don't have to be up to the stuff you've always been up to. Nothing wrong with any of that, by the way. Whoever you've been, I'm sure it's been awesome, and whatever you've been up to, it's been awesome, or you know it hasn't, or whatever, right? But, but what I'm standing for is um, you literally get to create, sort of as a human being in the world, you literally get to create who you are. So, not so, I don't mean so much mean I could create myself as a dolphin necessarily, you know, but, but um, I don't have to be who I've always known myself to be. I don't have to always be the cranky drummer, creative guy from New Orleans. I don't, I don't have to be that person, right? And there's lots of other things I could say about myself that have that sort of been around for a while, um, um, uh, automatic, been said several times for a long time, you know, whatever. So what I'm saying is you, could, you really have something to say about who you are. Uh, I created a couple of years ago being being contribution. So my fundamental starting place for everything in my life is contribution. You know, come up to a question, huh? Would would this be a contribution if I did this or did that or the other? You know, like it really informs me. And um, one of the things I that I find is critical for me or important to me is being consistent with that promise. So what do I mean? Um, like, it's important for me to consistently be contribution in every aspect of my life. So it's not something I do at work, or it's not something I do at home, or, you know, it's like, it's just who I am, and I practice it in every way that I can sort of imagine to practice it, right? And so that that's really worked out great for me. I'm, I'm a fan of contribution in particular, but this mm -hmm. idea of creating who you are, like, I, it's been just tremendously valuable for me. And so, so now we're coming, and now we're rolling up on integrity, okay? So now we're going to create this idea of integrity. So just as a side note, when, I'm, when I say integrity, I'm not talking about the way things should be or right or correct or something lacking integrity is wrong or, 
you know, there's some perfect way, something is supposed to be. Not really saying that, and I'm not going to talk about integrity for a long time, but <laughs> so, <laughs> what I do want to direct your attention to is integrity of, you know, honoring what you say or honoring what you're committed to or being true to something that's important to you, like being true to a principle, you know? So, so for me, I take pride in bringing integrity to my creation of who I am as contribution. So I'm going to say that again. So I, I take pride, I have some attention and, and, and some intention on making sure that I'm true to myself, that I'm as consistently as I can notice, right, that I'm acting, behaving, behaving speaking consistently with being a contribution, right? And if, I, if I'm at the end of my day and I feel like I've really been a contribution in my work and in my relationship and fun and with my music, whatever, uh, that's a great day. That's a great day, right? And so now the integrity part is this. All that's great when everything's great. You notice how people are really groovy when everything's groovy? No problem, right? Everybody's awesome when everything's awesome, right? But what happens when... It's not awesome, or it's not groovy, or it's not great, like something happens, right? So maybe I get cut off in traffic while I'm driving, or someone says something to me that occurs as cruel and sort of inappropriate, or, or just whatever, like stuff happens, right? I get upset, I get impatient, uh, just whatever, right? So in, for me, in how I have this wired up, that is not, a, that is not permission to no longer be a contribution. Right, So if I'm having a rough day about something, right, or I'm having a thought or a feeling about something, that doesn't impact my commitment or my promise to be true to myself. Be true to myself, yeah, be true to being a contribution because that's who I say I am, right? So, so, so the integrity for me is particularly in the moments when I don't feel like it, like someone's being unpleasant with me or I'm impatient or you know the things that, that I've said then being a contribution or being true to myself in that moment is something I take even more pride in you know like I, I take pride in that I'm, I'm proud of myself when I am consistently you know being true to myself another way you could say it and I've said it in the past is you know operating at a high level or vibrating at a high level or you know my highest self right when I'm when I consistently honor that, that's, that's really good. You know, it's good for me. I, I like myself. I have more confidence going into my next situations. And um, I find that being a contribution really works, you know. Uh, but, but, again, the, 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 the magic here is not the contribution part. Although being a contribution is awesome. I recommend it, right? The magic here is that I'm, I'm saying and creating and standing for and practicing that who I am is who I say I am. And that's the magic. That's the really, that's the really powerful magic there. So just, this is a teaser today. Um, I, I've got something I need to attend to, so I don't have a lot of time this evening, and, but I definitely wanted to reach out. And, um, and uh, the workshop's going to be awesome Saturday, all day, this couple of days from now, the 20th. Uh, incidentally, uh, I'm a coach, business consultant, um, the two areas I work in the most are probably romance and selling and marketing, you know, like a transformational approach to selling, uh, like a really empowering, nurturing approach to selling. So it's, it's really awesome. It's, um, I call it contribution selling. Um, I'll have a book and a website up soon. But, um, but uh, so, so, you know, I'm, I'm doing the commercial here. So I'm a professional coach. I'm based out of Austin and New Orleans, and uh, I love working with people. And if you have a question or would like to, to, you know, if you have a question for me or if you have a question about whether or not I could be of some service to you, right, I have a, uh, something set up called the challenge call. And it's, uh, you know, essentially a free 30-minute conversation, right? But it's distinct in that I literally promise that you'll leave the conversation with a new future about something that's important to you, okay? And, uh, and I deliver on that. That's not just sort of pie in the sky. I cross my fingers and hope it works out, right? So I'm serious about that. So if you'd like to take me up on a challenge call, you can find me at kirkmcdow.com. 
And uh, you can just get right on my calendar and just set yourself up, and I'll be there, and it'll be awesome. So, uh, great. So, anyway, thank you for your time this evening. I'd love to see you on Saturday. If you've seen any of my videos, be sure to let me know. Come say hello. Um, I'll be starting. I'll be uh, the first speaker, so don't be late. Um, and then um, love to see you Saturday. Or find me at kirkmcdowell.com, and I'd love to meet you on the phone and do a challenge call with you. All right. Take care. And uh, I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.